money. They say it makes the world go round. They're wrong, of course. Money has nothing to do with why the planet spins. But it is a pretty major necessity in just about every modern society. You need money to buy food, new clothes, and a home where you can eat your food and change your clothes. If you want to do anything fun outside your home, you might need to buy a car, not to mention fuel. One of the places you might drive your car is your workplace, not to spend money, but to earn more. Even if you decide to stay home and do something fun, that still costs money. Toys, games, TV, you name it, it all costs money. Earn money, spend money. Earn money, spend money. When you put it like that, it sounds pretty simple, but it can actually get very complicated very quickly. And it's all too easy to make a mistake and end up with no money for food or clothes or a house or a car or games. <sighs> and that's exactly why financial literacy is so important. Financial literacy is the understanding and ability to manage your money and make smart financial decisions. So in this course, we're going to teach you how to make the best choices with your money and how to recover in case you do make a mistake. In this video, we're going to start with a brief outline of all the different units in this course, and then I'll walk you through the structure of our lessons, including what you'll be responsible for completing. Let's get into it. Like I said, money can get complicated. So this course will be split up into various units, each of which focusing on a different aspect of planning and managing your finances. First, before we can get into all the complicated parts of money, we need to learn about the basics, like what makes money money, and what kind of institutions deal with money directly. Then we're going to learn all about budgeting, one of the most important strategies for keeping track of your money. As we go through all these different units, we'll keep going back and adding more and more bits to your budget until it's as detailed and comprehensive as possible. Next, we're going to learn about the most common way of making money working at a job where you work. I know, it's not the most exciting topic in the world, but you're going to need to make some money before you have the money to spend. And when you do get a job, you'll start having to do taxes. So we're going to take a second and learn all about those. And we're going to teach you something that not many people were taught how to do. How to actually do your own taxes. You are going to be one of the lucky few. Once you have a job and are dutifully paying your taxes, you're going to want to know where to save your extra money or maybe where to invest it so you can make more money without having to work for it. Now, saving and investing is great and all, but sometimes it's just not enough. And that's where credit and loans come into play. These are systems in which you can borrow money from people in order to pay for things that you don't have the money for yet. And why might you need to borrow money, you ask? To make a big purchase, of course. Whether it's a car, a house, or even a college education, it's important to understand the massive price tags on these things and what your options are for paying them. Now, with all these financial goals and payments, it can be easy to make a mistake or get taken advantage of. That's why we're also going to be talking about the financial protections that are in place to keep you from going broke when an accident happens. And finally, we're going to take a look at everything you've learned as well as your original budget so that you can not only keep track of your finances today, but also plan ahead for a successful future. Units in this course will generally follow the same structure. Each lesson will include a lesson video and some practice questions. 
Every few lessons, you'll find a wrap up with a reference guide, some more practice questions, and an assessment so that you can test what you retained from those previous lessons. Feel free to use the reference guide to help you or jog your memory as you take the assessment. Finally, some units include a project or two. These are awesome opportunities to prove how much you've learned and to get a start on your future success before you've even finished this course. Look, I get it. This seems like a lot of things to learn about, but this is also something that a lot of people don't get any education on. And then they wish they did after something's already gone wrong. In fact, one survey found that people will get more stress trying to pick a retirement plan than they do at a dentist appointment. That's saying something. By learning about financial literacy now and practicing these skills before you become an independent adult, you'll be setting yourself up for a life of success and much less stress. About money, not about dentist appointments. Hey.